friends. Um, I uh, wanted to do a quick little June 1st vloggy thing with an ATC today uh, to give you a, a uh, overview and heads up of what we're doing in Art Joy sharing this, this month, which is ATC, a day challenge. We do this every June and you know, an artist trading card is just a small little piece of art. It's two and a half inches by three and a half inches. And our twist this year for doing an ATC a day all through June is having you try out different substrates, different surfaces in which to work on in conjunction to making your ATC. Because, hey, plain old smooth paper's boring, right? So uh, for the challenge, here, and here's the flyer, and I'll make sure that um, everybody can get this um, somewhere on my channel. If you're not already in the group, you can join the group by clicking the link down below and asking to join. Make sure that you answer the questions if you do that. It's a Facebook group. Um, also, we'll be doing this on the live stream all month. We'll be doing um, artist trading cards on different surfaces all month. And also uh, posting them in the group, sharing them in the group, sharing them on social media, using the hashtag AJOSATCAday2022. So um, the first thing I did was I went through and I just put all these different surfaces, I cut them into the correct size, and I put them in this box. So I'm starting out with watercolor paper is the first one, and we'll work on that one today. And then embossed cardstock. That could be embossed with texture paste or with uh, pressure. This is pressure, you know, um, one of those things called. Uh, you put it through your your uh, cutting machine. Um, it's like a little folder, and you put put the paper in between. Embossing folder, I guess it's called. So that's what this is. Then the next one's canvas. I just glued some canvas fabric on a piece of uh, backing. The next one is paper bag. I kind of wadded it up so it would have more texture and glued it to a backing. The next one's newspaper. This is an old newspaper. Wood. Here's wood. Oh man, that's stuck to that. That wasn't quite dry when I put them in there. Whoops. <laughs> Here's a piece of wood that's glued to a backing. The next one's textured heavy gesso. That's self-explanatory. Um, a magazine page. Uh, something stenciled, stenciled, uh, stenciled, gel printed, book text, music paper, that has some music paper on it, that's been collaged with a napkin, um, the next one is a denim fabric and I didn't have any so I just put a placeholder in there till I can figure that one out, a manila card, metal, this is a Pepsi can, metal, do something with that. Wallpaper, this is a, an oval shaped one cut out of a cereal box because they can be uh, ATC coins as well. So that could be fine too. A playing card, uh, index card, this is an index card that's been stained with tea or coffee. Um, an envelope, that's the inside of a security envelope. Washi tape, I started to put some washi tape on that one. Uh, receipt paper, this is just a receipt I got from um, a package and I glued it onto a piece of uh, uh, cardboard. Uh, what's next? Oh, Yupo paper. Some of you might not have that. If you have glossy cardstock uh, or photo paper, you can do the same type of things as you can do with Yupo in most cases. Uh, cork, burlap, this is some handmade paper glued on a substrate. Uh, glitter paper. This is just glitter paper from Michaels. Um, I didn't have a paint chip, and so I just threw that in there. And scrapbook paper. So I've got my little my little substrates all ready to go, and I'm just going to do them in order. And on my channel, you'll see two or three per video. And um, so the directions. Make an ATC each day in June. Use one of the above textures in your background. You can do them in order, jump around, have fun playing with the textures as you create and use them to your advantage. Post your ATCs in the group or use the um, assigned folder in the group's media section or post them anywhere on social media using this. So that's our challenge. So 
what do you do to get prepared for a challenge like this? You know, these are tiny. You know, it's going to be, you know, putting putting some art stuff on a, on something tiny, right? Well, for me, the challenge isn't making an ATC a day. It's not making 50 ATCs a day. And here's why. <laughs> okay, so just sitting on my desk alone, just my catch basket on my desk. Here's a couple of my catch baskets. I also have some little ones like this. I can, you know, dump those in there. Some little things that I save. Here's some other little things, you know, with words. And, and I, I mean, I just always have all this stuff on my desk. Little pieces of things. These are from a recent project. That's just little pieces of collage paper. This one has, like, little, little things in it. Like, you know, maybe I was messing around doing something, making something. Maybe somebody sent me something. Um, like this is a bag of things that somebody sent me. Happy mail. We've all got this type of stuff. This is great stuff for ATCs. Also, uh, things like I have this basket that's all full of extra pieces of napkin that I didn't use, as well as other stuff like stamped tissue paper. I have a ton of stamped tissue paper. Um, some of the things in here are from a calendar that I have. You know, just all this stuff is constantly everywhere in my life. Everywhere. I was messing around making uh, transfers. I haven't rubbed the backing off of that one yet. But, you know, anything that you, you played around with, you might have some little scrap of it left somewhere that you didn't want to get rid of. And you've got a basket full. You just, you've got a basket full already. You know, I've got all these baskets. I have a couple other ones that... This one is all full of punched out and die cut things that, you know, I could use on an ATC because we're looking for little things. Tons of them. Tons, tons, people. Tons. How do I, how do I, like, even choose? <laughs> how do I even choose? And then, as if that wasn't enough, I have these other things that I've sorted. And I... I have like little shiny things, little things I could, you know, tickets and punched out things. And I, I mean, they're everywhere, everywhere. I have flowers, uh, I've got seashells. I've got different types of sticker things. It just, it's never in it. I've got doilies. I've got buttons. I've got metal things. I've got sequins. I mean, it just it never stops. So what I suggest is you get your substrates ready. And if, if you don't happen to have one of those textures, don't worry about it. It's not going to, you know, just use something else that day. Get those ready. Get out all your little bits and bobs, put them around you, and then just have fun every day. Get up in the morning and make a little thing every day. It will develop your sense of creativity and your daily art practice and that's all this is about is um, making something creative each day just make something creative each day that's all you got to do so i'm going to start day one here so that we can go through the rest of other things i might have to tell you i probably don't have much else to tell you except for my thank yous but um i'm just going to work on this one now and we'll see what comes out of this but first, here is my thank yous for donations last month, Sherry, Savannah, Anne, Linda, and Arlene. And of course, thank all of you who uh, are in the membership on the channel, who use my uh, Amazon and other affiliate links, who buy my merchandise and my art. Thank you all. Okay, so to start out with this watercolor ATC, seems pretty, pretty intuitive that you would use watercolor right <laughs> so I got out my watercolor pan and I uh, put some teals and the greens and then eventually a little bit of yellow on my card I got it good and wet and then um, just added different colors this kind of an olive green and I just was trying to get some saturation on the watercolor paper to give me a colorful background to start out with. Being a mixed media artist, of course, I'm doing layers. And so this is my first layer is color and making it more interesting. This is a good way to start, right? So that kind of, to me, 
uh, looked a bit like foliage or you know trees if you if you looked up in the summer and you looked at the trees it might look something like that and then I grabbed a set of ATC stencils and this one that I just I mean it was complete random grab I just grabbed the ones on the top and the one I ended up picking kind of looks like honeycomb because it's a it's an imitation of a sequin waist one so I started thinking about bees and I'm hoping that again this year we'll have a bee uh, cluster come and rest in our trees we have for the last couple years. If you see a big cluster of bees, don't do anything about them. Just, you know, they'll leave after a couple days if you just let them rest. It's usually a new queen that is uh, looking for a new home. And of course we need bees because we if without bees we would have no food basically because they pollinate everything so don't don't disturb them just let, leave them be i mean unless they're on your front door then you're going to have to have someone come and remove them to a safer space but usually they're just on a tree in my yard we've had that several years in a row so i hope that uh, we can help out some more bees this year so I just grabbed my little basket. Uh, well, first I put some uh, white gesso through that stencil to make it a little bit more um, prominent on the background. Then uh, this basket of scraps just is just the one I have on the desk at the moment. I haven't sorted them out, so it is what it is. And I saw this one that kind of had some little stripes on it and it was yellow and orange. And so I picked that one for the bee body. Then I picked kind of a a grayish blue and then also some tissue with some printing on it for the wings and a little bit of a, a black and white print for the bee's head and I glued those down with a glue stick. I guess I do have one other thing to say uh, coming up in this month I'll be doing the third third Saturday art again so look out for that but besides that it's going to be all ATCs this month. ATC every day which will uh, calculate out to, uh, you know, uh, probably every two to three days a video with multiple ATCs in it. That's how it usually works. So I did edge that with some ink and then I used the same ink color with a stamp that's kind of like a splatter stamp because I wanted to bring that dark teal that I edged it with into the card. Then where my collage B is, I went around with a Stabilo all pencil and some water and gave a little bit of shading. I drew in a couple of antenna and a bee bottom um, with a pen. I ended up going over this with the Posca pen later because it was too light. I was just I was just using a, a regular pen. And I added in a third stripe because it's this seemed like the stripes were a little bit far apart. Just, you know, adding some detail uh, into the collage. Then I got out some letter stamps and stamped on there with the black ink. That's a black archival ink mini pad. And I started out and I got the wrong letter that was an R. And I think I meant to get an H. I think I was going to say be happy. And instead I ended up saying be real, but it doesn't matter. It just was the wrong, the wrong, you know, they're hard to, they're hard to see in that little container. They're just little letter stamps and they have a capital on one end and a uh, lowercase on the other end. So be real, be free, be fun. I think I typed with the word be instead of be, it's be, -E. you know, haha, -ha, right? <laughs> Sped it up a little bit to eight times fast because he wants to watch me stamp everything over and over. And so I was pretty happy with that. And then I did a few other things. I, I thought it needed some flowers. And so I grabbed my little basket of flowers. Remember we were talking about having all these baskets available of stuff that you might want to use. Um, they were too big. And so I tried some different ones and like, eh, they're too big. So I ended up just using a Posca paint pen in pink. Posca paint pen in pink. That sounds like a tongue twister. <laughs> and I made the flowers that way. Some little pink flowers around um, in the background because you know bees they like to pollinate and they like to get pollen from flowers so they also like water so if you really want to help out some bees that are traveling 
just take like a, a shallow dish and put some marbles in it and then fill it with water each day so that they can have a place to perch and uh, drink a little bit of water on their travels if you don't happen to have water in your yard. So then I, uh, I put a few white splatters and dots and things on there for contrast and added a few white highlights around on my bee collage. And then I think, I thought I was done and I decided, no, I'm not really done. So I got out the watercolors again, because remember this is still watercolors, um, watercolor paper, which indicates it might be watercolor. I just thought that the wings needed a little bit of color shadowing. And so I added some of that same turquoise from before. And then I ended up grabbing my Stickles Glitter Glue. So that was the end of it. This is day one of ATC A Day. I hope you guys will play along. Bye-bye.